Hello students, my name is Sean Villapondo and I'm an AMP teacher and what I want to do in this video is go through the tissues review, the epithelial muscle and nervous tissues and so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down the tissues handout starting with simple squamous epithelium and what I've got here is I've got some frog skin and you can see very clearly that uh, the, simple strat or the simple squamous epithelium looks a lot like little floor tiles and you can see the nuclei in here as a dark staining dot and then you can see the cell membranes as well which appear as the outline of a cell and then everything in between would be our cytoplasm so there's a really good view of simple squamous our next tissue is stratified squamous and we're going to look at a slide of an esophagus and so if I move over there this is what it looks like at about 40x and we want to zoom in on this epithelium right here, this lining. So as we zoom in we can start to see some of the cells of this tissue type and you can see pretty clearly that we've got a multiple layers of squamous tissue or squamous cells. So if I zoom in on one of these what we see here is we see multiple different layers of nuclei which are the darkly staining dots and then you can see the cytoplasm in light pink and um, you can't really see the cell membranes in here but they are surrounding the cell as they normally do and so we also have basement membrane and the basement membrane of an epithelium is basically wherever that epithelium is connecting to deeper tissues. That will be your basement membrane. So there is our stratified squamous epithelium. Next we want to take a look at some simple cuboidal epithelial cells and we're going to be looking for the nucleus, cytoplasm, cell membrane, and basement membrane. And so what I've got here is I've got some, uh, some cells from the kidney and what you can see here is you can see these are little openings in the kidney and you'll learn more about those next semester but surrounding those openings we have simple cube shaped uh, cells and that's basically the definition of simple cubital and so you can see the nucleus is a darkly staining spot and I think some of your student slides may look a little bit better than these slides but you can almost make out the cell membranes surrounding each of these uh, little nuclei in its little bit in its little cell. And then our last structure for this tissue type is our basement membrane. And again the basement membrane is where the epithelium is connecting to deeper tissues. Our next tissue type is simple columnar epithelium. And what we've got here is we've got a transverse cross section of the small intestine, the ilium. Okay, <clears throat> you can see we've got some simple columnar cells here and this white area right here is open space and these cells right here are the simple columnar epithelial cells and so are these. And so right away you can see that these are column shaped cells and it looks a little bit better in my microscope than it does on the screen. But you can see we've got one layer of nuclei down here and then you can see this sort of dark border on the apical side of these cells and this is the brush border this is made up of the microvilli and then you can also see we've got some some clear structures in here and these clear structures are called the goblet cells so if you see um, this brush border this nice tight dark border then it's instantly simple columnar epithelial cells okay um, and then you've got nucleus cytoplasm the basement membrane would be down here somewhere where the epithelium is connecting to deeper tissues. Our next tissue type is pseudostratified columnar and you can see I've got some pseudostratified columnar up here and one of the dead giveaways of pseudostratified columnar is it's got this nice loose hair like border here and um, this is made up of cilia and so if you see these, this loose very fuzzy very hair like apical surface you know instantly that it's pseudostratified. Okay, pseudostratified columnar. Um, you can also see the basement membrane down here 
you can see the, the nuclei are all over the place, giving this the false appearance of being stratified. Um, and then you also have the goblet cells, which are the lighter parts down here, just like they were in this simple columnar. Um, and that's it for pseudostratified. Next we have transitional epithelia. Okay, next we have our transitional epithelium. And this looks a little bit like the stratified squamos, but what you can see here is it looks like the cells are much more mashed together. So you don't have the distinct layers of nuclei that you have in this uh, stratified squamos. So this is our transitional epithelium. Next, I want to move on to our muscle and nervous tissue. So our first muscle tissue is skeletal muscle tissue, and it's going to look something like this. Now, what you're looking at here is the white spaces are just open spaces between the muscle fibers. And so the muscle fibers, remember muscle fibers are long and thin, and so they're running um, horizontally across your screen. You can also barely make out the striations. Remember, the striations are um, the dark alternating bands due to the A band of the sarcomere. And so your striations are going to run perpendicular to your muscle fibers. Every once in a while, you'll see a dark staining structure along the muscle fiber, and that's a nucleus right there. And let's see what else do you need to know. Connective tissue might be um, any other tissue that happens to be on the slide. Usually it is adipose tissue. Next we have cardiac muscle tissue and this is similar to skeletal muscle tissue in that it has striations but we also have these very dark perpendicular lines and these are called the intercalated discs and these are basically, uh, there's your intercalated disc right there. These are the connections between the two cardiocytes, the uh, cardiac muscle tissue cells. And they run perpendicular to the muscle fibers, um, so they're easy to find. This is a really nice slide, too. Uh, the dark staining structures, those are your nucleus. The outline of the cell is your cell membrane. The pink is the cytoplasm. And this big white space right here is, again, just open space. Next we have smooth muscle tissue and our smooth muscle tissue is pretty easy to, to um, identify because first of all you don't have striations and then the muscle fibers themselves um, they are tapered at the ends and so they look almost like spindles and you see a lot of open white spaces in here as well. Our final tissue that we're going to learn um, is nervous tissue and so we're going to learn the neuron, the cell body, cell process, nucleus, and then the neuroglia cells. So if we take a look at some nervous tissue here, we can see that I've got a neuron right here centered. And so this overall structure right here is the neuron. Now if you just draw a circle around this, this would be the cell body of the neuron. Anything that's coming off of this and uh, projecting off of it would be a cell process and you'll learn next semester that those are called dendrites and axons. The darkly staining part in the middle is the nucleus and then everything between the cell membrane and the nucleus is cytoplasm. And then these smaller dark rounded cells, these are the neuroglia cells. These are the supporting cells in um, nervous tissue. So that's all there is for tissues on this practical. I hope this has been a helpful video.